Welcome back. It's us again. Doing the more early hard mode stuff. Yep. I'm gonna be less of a uh, less of an I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> less I'm gonna of actually a go out adventuring today. Homebody. Stay, stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. Not to stay at home and build things. Um. I think I will go on a quest for Souls of Light. Yeah, Light. Right. Which basically, if you go down the chute that is to the left of the desert on our left, um, it will bring you down to an area of underground hallow. Okay. I just killed my first light mummy. So your ah, cool. hallow so desert over here is expanding. And yeah, I'm heading further uh, across. What are you? Uh, oh, it's the ghoul. It's the same thing. I was like, did we see that last time? <laughs> same thing again. This time, it was like five minutes ago. Uh. Oh, dear. Because we're recording episodes back to back. But I'm going to... Oh, gosh. The uh, I do not like the tortoises because when they come hurtling at you at top speed, when they're rolling, flying, like you only get a moment to react. And I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting him and... Then he was there and he hit me hard. Yep. I don't like him. <laughs> Ooh, Fallen Star. Sure, why not? I am headed to the ocean. Check out the ocean farm and see if anything comes of it. Of course, using the Crimson Rod to hit our Apaima probably won't work that great, but we'll see how it goes. Oh gosh! Purpling! Surface Crimson. You need a Nimbus Rod to replace that thing. Just have to hope for rain. Yep. I wonder if the... I guess the sundial... Ooh. If might... you're going to the... Sorry, yes. I totally interrupted you. Uh, if you're going to the ocean farm, um, that's a good way to get pirate maps. Yes, definitely. If we wanted to bring on the pirates. Uh, I killed the dark mummy. We have lots of uh, crimsonified desert over here. So I'm going to be sure to get a number of those anytime I want. I should be talking to the angler and turning in fishing quests when I can to see if I can I get a fish I should be doing finder. that too, right, because we still have a bunch of uh, quest fishes stored away. Dynamite fish? Caught in surface. Yeah, it's an easy one to get in the little lake that's just to the right of our house if you want to go after one, but... If I, were I don't looking think we have for... it stored up. Uh, there's yeah, three okay. ocean chests and... Got them. Yeah. Uh, okay, if I were looking for a fishing rod, where would I look? Uh, in the fishing to -do chest. chests, um, oh, okay. because I took out all of my fishing inventory that I used to carry around all the time and put it in the to-do chests. Uh, oi. <laughs> Is <laughs> the uh, golden fishing rod the best one? Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Crimson rod, a bunch of arapaimas. They're I'm hearing a new noise. Fast. Okay, that's exciting. There... Is this above or below? <gasps> what? Whoa. If you have a chance to come home, something very strange. Oh, it just. Oh, that must be the truffles attack. Yeah, his health is low. Something happened to him. He spawns like a bunch of weird little spores around him and they make funny noises. It's hard to describe. All right, interesting. I apparently have made a gold farm. Because uh, oh. I already have four gold from killing our Pimas at one and two points a hit with the Crimson Rod and the Bile Thorn. <laughs> cool. I've also already gotten two shark fins and a, another one of those yo-yos uh, that I'm currently Which one? using. Uh, Demonic Aramok. Oh, Aramok, okay. I got another yo-yo. And so if these things sell, that also makes it more of a gold farm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Orichalcum suit. Each time I'm hitting these guys is setting little petal lasers across the screen, and so I'm doing way more damage as a result of those in addition to just hitting things with, like, Crimson Rod right. and the Vile Thorn. Neat. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, I had plans to go places, but I saw a building thing that had to be done first. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so you said something about what the truffle mushroom guy was doing a moment ago, and I was so busy with my own oh, things I see, that yeah. I missed what he was, It must have been his attack. He spawned some sort of spores around himself, and I couldn't really see what they were doing. I mostly just heard them from far away. Oh, this is unfortunate. Let's see, how do I fix that?
All right, well, this is not visually interesting, but I've never done this before, and it does seem very profitable. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's good to know that this is here. I'm not sure how... Oh, I killed an Arapaima, which means I can get the Arapaima banner put out, and then I'll kill the Arapaimas even quicker and get even more drops. Oh, yeah, wow, the banners make a big difference, apparently. Oh, cool. Um, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah, my Crimson Rod that was hitting for two is now hitting for, like, 40. Whoa! So that is a big difference. It could be... I wonder if it, like, lowers defense, and defense is such a big deal that something, something... Or maybe that's still my petals again? Hold on. Yeah, the Crimson Rod. Sorry, the Crimson Rod is only hitting for, like, 18 as opposed to 2. That's okay. still a big difference. All right, that'll have to deal. All right, and so I presume there's a bunch of crabs on the ground, and that's the reason that the spawn rate has gone down. Let's go check that out really quick. Maybe? Don't know. Okay, so okay, right now I was fishing. only in a jungle biome, and so let me try adding a piece of... Uh, let me try corrupt, uh, corrupt whatever, ebonstone. Okay, so now it becomes an ebonstone corruption biome, and I get that music playing. We still have sharks and arapaimas, but I think now possibly I could get different drops. While I was wasting time, Angler changed his item to fallen starfish, which we do have. So I've turned that in. We have a second one in case you wish to. A second what? A uh, second fallen starfish. Got it. Uh, got another fuzzy carrot. Uh, apparently that mount doesn't take fall damage from what I heard, but that's no longer relevant. Yes. Um, I forgot about that as a nice side effect of that being one that you can get early. I don't want to sell this if we don't have our other one anymore. Where would it live? What, the fallen starfish? Uh, the fuzzy carrots. Oh. Um, I hadn't thought about... Yeah, mounts. There's there's a chest with mounts. It's one of the accessories chests, and it has like four mounts in the bottom right. Um, and so I would keep it there. Let's see. All right, let me go check on any of the drops that might be down here. All right, must be an accessory chest I don't know about. I got a mechanical skull. Oh, cool. So that's another just useful side effect of killing lots of things in a farm like this. No pirate map yet, I assume? Uh, no pirate map. I should go ahead and put away my 15 gold that I've already managed to get. All right, this is not interesting uh, to actually watch, and so I'm gonna switch switch things up. Yeah. And go do something else, but you wanna join me in the um, underground kind of hollow? How this goes? I put those things back, and sure. I haven't actually made it there yet. So I'm just just about to set off. I'm also gonna quickly go ahead and check how much these extra yo-yos that I got sell for. Uh, four gold. Wow. Okay, so, oh, and cool. this one's 6 gold 40, because it had a modifier on it. And so that's another 10 gold, just like that. Okay, so that's a really good gold farm. So don't be chintzy on reforging, I guess would be my advice. And, okay, got another jellyfish banner that can just go in the banners chest. And mechanical skull, I guess I'll put in the hard mode chest, or should I put it in monster drops? Monster drops, I guess, makes more sense. Uh, you put away your whatever? Yes, and uh, probably... I don't see it here. Don't know which whatever it was, okay. but my inventory's empty-ish. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, the mechanical eye. Uh, let's see if it's in my piggy bank? No, I must have put it away. I don't know where that went, actually. Hmm. All right, well. Mechanical eye. I wouldn't worry too much about it, because it seems like these drops are coming pretty fast and furious. It's possible I saw it on the ground and didn't pick it up, but I was pretty sure I picked it up. All right, and then Fallen Starfish I see in this box, and so I will go hand it to the angler, who is standing where? There he is. All right, this is making me curious. Gotta go find your eye. I probably, yeah. It's not in my eye socket for some reason. <laughs> um, I'm sure I did a quick stack when I was here. Here it is. 
Oh, apparently I put it in the hard mode chest. All right, I'll move it to monster items. Oh, I thought I looked in there and didn't see it, so <laughs> apologies for saying one thing. Okay, and so now what am I going to do? Right, you were going to go, you were going to the underground hallow, mm -hmm. and so I will come with you. Another thing we could work on little by little would be Ankh charms. Oh, and spiders. We forgot about spiders. Oh, spiders, spiders. That's actually possibly more productive than this yeah, house. Yeah, let me see where the best... Uh, there is a direct shoot into a spider cave to the right in the ice biome, and so... I'm going to head that way. There is? Yes. Is that a you might not cave? have it That's on your map. a spider cave. Yeah, I probably don't. Okay. Um, let me mirror to you, or mirror to home, and then follow you somewhere. I haven't gotten that far yet, but yeah, feel free to. We've got plenty of wormhole potions, so. I'd be able to see you if I clicked a button, and you clicked a button. Oh, right. New episode. Log back <laughs> into the world. Forgot to do that. Okay, so is this where I want to go down? Yes. So basically, it's the first uh, little pit down in the ice biome. Right, this thing has to go. Oh, do I not have my light pet going? I don't think I do. I wouldn't mind having... Okay, there's the spiders. Okay, great. Um, what's... Is there a hotkey to, like, activate the shadow orb or something? It probably is. I don't know what it is. There is. I don't know it. Okay. Oh! I got chilled by possibly the spider? I got chilled by something, only for, like, two seconds. But there is Black Recluse, and it looks even more horrible than it did before, if that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it makes the same ga -ga 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 sound <laughs> as the other spiders on death, and I'm gonna try not to get hit by it. Crap. Oh boy. Crap. Nope. I'm chilled. That actually helps. Go, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Nope, nope, no, 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 oh, gosh! Oh. oh man. Okay. Melee damage, they do a ton. It's like a giant tortoise. Mm -hmm. But they're it's very easy to cheese them, uh, because they can't fit up the elevator since it's only too wide. Oh, I see. And so, and I did get, I got two spider fangs, so I'll go talk to the guide about it right now. And if you're still here, I'll hand you one, but. I'm uh, near the cave now. Okay, yeah. You just head down and I'll tell you what the guide says. The guide says 16 spider fangs to make the spider staff, uh, which summons spiders to fight, fight for you. So that's a new summoning weapon for 26 versus the imp staff is 24. So that's slightly better. Queen Spider Staff takes 24, and that's the Spider Queen. That's like the Frost Hydra. That's like a, oh. I guess, like magic, magic summoning item that stays out that's different from summoning things. I've never and, had this. And uh, the, spider, the Spider Armor would take a total of, I believe, 36 Spider Fangs. Spider Armor? What does it do? Increases More your minions? max number of minions yeah. and has a fair amount of defense. 8, 5, 7 on the three pieces. So this uh, spider cave you were telling me about, is it crimson on the way down or yes. am I in the wrong place? Yes, a little oh. bit of crimson on the way down. Whoa. What was that noise? My imp just shot it. Oh, it must have been an ice tortoise. Yep, sure is. Oh, I can wormhole to you. Ha -ha. To the map screen. Yeah, farther right and down. I guess you, yeah, started exploring. I found a place. You like finding places. I do too. I came from down here, so uh, this is the way out. I'm just, yeah, exploring a little bit of my own now okay, too. Okay, that's fine. A little dead end up here though, so not very interesting. Oh, but there's an earthworm. Must have earthworm. I, I feel like ice has gotten slipperier. Yes. I know you saw it on the um, yes. uh, slime, uh, frozen slime. Yes, box. it absolutely has gotten slipperier, and yeah, I don't know if I like didn't notice it before or what, <laughs> but I noticed that um, when I was at the ocean farm because we didn't ice. spend much time in ice. It's true. Whoa, ice tortoise, don't touch me, please. Oh, I should buff. I should heal. Oh, floaty gross, floaty gross. I didn't even see him. He's like intersecting me. Yikes. Okay, the good news is the spiders are below the crimson. I'm headed back down. Oh, did I just see a heart crystal there? I think I made that up. 
Oh, here's... Okay. I'm in the spider area. There are no spiders spawned here right at the moment. For whatever reason. I count myself lucky for that, I guess. Apparently I'm unable to move downward if there's unlit stuff along the <laughs> way. Uh, Things I'm discovering about myself. Know thyself. Alright. It's not a very big spider cave, and so that kind of works favorably. Oops. Hello. Guy. Haven't we found larger ones someplace? Yes. I know of, like, three. This was just the easiest one to get to. Let's see. Yeah, we're not going to get any spiders spawning here if we're both just standing in the middle of it. Um, we found, like, a whole bunch someplace that was not here. Uh, so there's one... I that see one's a little one. bit bigger that's on the right side of our desert to the left. I'm going to go and... up and to the left. I thought there was one other one that was even this is... bigger. Hmm. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking yeah, of. Yeah, it's near here. Oh. Oh, there is a life crystal here. Okay, I did see one. Like, just to the right of the elevator? Uh, just left. Oh, okay. Ice blade, ice mirror, it. full inventory. I feel like the ice tortoises didn't have any good drops, but I see one here who's easy to cheese, and so I'm gonna cheese them. What is all this junk in my inventory? Where did all this come from? <laughs> uh, I really feel about your inventory, Alex. <laughs> I hear a worm of some description. Is it... It's a digger. That was that was, that was already in the game. Yeah. All right, I'm going down the first shaft to the left, which is on the right side of the desert, because apparently there's another spider cave down there. Okay. Which is here? Yes. I guess it's before the desert is where the shaft begins. And I should probably, well, I should probably be dropping some torches. It's apparently this got water drop down it at some point or something. If we were smart, we would have brought water candles for this. Although, then again, we might just die a lot faster with those. Okay, here's this spider cave. Looks like it might be a little bigger. Let me also just kind of dig this out to make it easier to traverse. And let's see. Do I hear spiders? Do they make noise? I don't guess not. I heard some something. But I don't see any spiders, so I don't think it was the spider that I heard. Alright, Breaker Blade is reasonably effective for chopping through lots of cobwebs quickly, so that's nice. Yeah, this is a bigger spider cave that's over here. So it could be a good thing. And we'll just go ahead and dig through more of this to make it easier to get around. Oh boy, three acre stickers. Uh, Icor. Icor. <laughs> Icor's Icor. <laughs> ah, that's good. Alright, the good news is Demon Scythe. Uh, does some nice work on spiders, so long as I can stay away from them. Yeah, coupled with your Calcum suit, yeah, this is, this is pretty good stuff. Oh, they make such a great noise when you kill them. It's too bad they're so hard to kill. Ooh, I just got a... Oh, it's an Aramok. Or Amarok. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've probably been pronouncing it wrong each time. <laughs> oh, uh, we do have titanium in this world, because I just found some of it. Oh, cool. Oh, extra shiny. I got an achievement. Mm-hmm. And oh, it looks... Oh, I guess that's the first hard mode of your mind. It looks... Yeah, it looks better than oh, the old titanium ore. It's still a very noisy texture, mm -hmm. but it's at least kind of beautifully noisy or something. Whereas previously, I thought it was just mostly ugly. Yeah. Uh, as an ore. So, that's what a thing. What just happened to me? I think I got webbed and couldn't use my weapons for, like, two seconds. Sounds plausible. That was strange. Seems like the type of thing a spider might do. Alright, so I'm just trying to make... Okay, there's another spider. Great. 
Hello, black recluses. Awesome. And their AI is not very good. They can fit through there to come attack me, but they're getting caught up on the corner. <laughs> I am wrecking them. Cool. Another six spider fangs. I guess... Should we do the summoning thing, since we could both use that first? Sure. And I seem to recall, yeah, the little spiders... Oh, gosh! They did not hit me. I have no plans to change armor until I get true might or something. Right. I sh right, Titanium is pretty great. Yeah, I'm definitely um, webbed. I didn't get a look at... Ow! Oh! Fascinating. Downside of shield dash, I cannot actually get away from enemies if I need to go through them, because I just bounce off. I guess I should have grappled. Hmm, okay. All right, I got spiders on both sides. Okay, I thought I saw my life going down there for a second, but I think we're okay. I could, I should heal. Although I guess, yeah, I guess Pixie Dust makes the healing potions renewable again, right? Although, no, we need, is it like unicorns or something crazy? What do we need to make greater healing potions? Crystal shards and Pixie Dust. Crystal shards, right, okay. So yeah. They drop a lot from hardwood bosses, so if we right. kill once a we bunch kill of those, the destroyer, it'll be yeah. A lot easier, presumably. Cuz yeah, once we kill the destroyer, you're also going to finally get a really nice weapon. All right. Yeah, I feel kind of bad that like the first three good weapons we've gotten in hard mode have been magic weapons it feels like. Well, well. I got the Clockwork Assault Rifle, which is pretty good. And oh, the I forgot that you had repeater, that. Which is pretty good, so I'm happy with okay. my weaponry. I forgot all about that. Alright, I'm up to 24 Spider Fangs. So... Oh, wow. Actually, how many do you I have? have? I have seven. Okay, we almost have enough for two of those spider summoning things. Um, yeah, and what do we want to do for the Frost Hydra and the uh, Queen Spider Staff? They're kind of like summoning things, but I think they're actually magic damage. And so, how do we want to play those? Let's find out what kind of damage they are. If they're summon damage, then we can both use them. Okay, so based on the type of damage will be the yep. static factor. All right. That sounds fair. All right, there's another crazy spider. Oh, there's an invisibility potion on the ground. I guess there was a pot over here, and my oracalcum flower petals went through the wall and opened the pot. Ah, I see, and destroyed a torch, and that's why it's actually lit up and I can see. Oh gosh, giant bat. You do some damage too. Cut it out. Alright, where are the spiders? There they are. No! Something shooting at me! I don't like it! <laughs> uh, what was that shooting at me? It looked like a uh, blue slime almost or something? No, blue jellyfish. Shooting? What's shooting? Something is shooting at me. Do the black recluses spit at you? Not that I saw, but maybe. All right, I'm about to get a bunch of more fangs because there's like five down here that I'm choosing. Okay. It's too bad they're in the water, otherwise my imps... No, there's definitely another enemy down here who's spitting at me. Soon that will not be a problem. Although I don't see the other enemy. I'm really confused by this. Oh, okay. I got chilled. Okay, something is chilling me, too. Maybe there was a ice slime whatever thingy over here. I don't see him, though. Yeah, I'm quite confused by that. In any case, I now have 33 of those spidery things, and so I'm going to oh, at cool. least make one of the summon staffs. I think the spider stole all my money when I died, so I'm not going to bother going back there. I see. Uh, right. There's a queen spider staff and the spider staff. Okay, so I know I want the spider staff. And that one is... Can you see before you craft damage. what... I knew that uh, one was. Queen spider staff is also summon damage. Okay, so we oh, can cool. use both. Right. All right, so I will craft both of these to start. Um, and here are the little spiders who... I guess I've only got one of them going right now. Uh, you can right cancel now. your imp. Oh, thank you. Right. That's what it is. And here is the queen spider staff. I think it always summons on the ground. Yeah. Let right. me get out into the clearing. Did you have enough fangs to make more than one of either of those things? Um, 
I think I had enough to make exactly one of each, so which one would you okay. like? So here's the queen spider, and she's basically a turret who sits I'll, there and shoots um, for a while. I'll go and get my own uh, uh, fangs so we can okay. each have, have those things. Um, let's see. And I got taboo spider staff. Extra mana cost doesn't matter. Extra speed and knockback I don't want. All right, and we have plenty of money to reforge, so I'll, I'll reforge these things a little bit. One of us does, at least. <laughs> Um, where is, did the tinkerer die? No, he's in the apartment building, lower right, uh, yeah, lower right. Oh yeah, okay, gotcha. Speaking of money, since it's a frequent fishing reward, it's probably a new day, angler might have something new. Alright. Deadly, extra damage and speed, yeah, I can load that, alright, cool. Couple little spiders, 30, which means I can put away the imp staff now, which is only 25. And summon damage weapons oh. are here. Crimson pig runs are red now. They used to always be purple, I guess, for corruption. And then this actually needs to be in my bar. So I'll put it here and swap it out with the meteor staff if I'm doing stuff on the surface, I guess. Okay, that sounds reasonable. And I'll see, I'll go, I'm going to go back to my spider cave and see if I can help uh, grab some more fangs so you can have those things too. Okay. And we still don't have rain. And... Yeah, where's that Nimbus rod? <laughs> yeah, because I feel like that's a really good prerequisite for the destroyer. We might be able to take him without it. We could definitely take him with it. I say not knowing what the right, what exactly. changes are. <laughs> Definitely is a little too strong for the unknown. Oh, neat. My little spiders, they like latch on to the enemy. They're almost <laughs> like little piranha guns in that respect. I should resummon stuff. I guess I should have borrowed your spider staff for just a moment to summon some of those. Or one oh, of those yeah, myself. that would have been smart. Oh, well. All right, I happen to see a fairy or two over here, and now I'm standing out by the hell. Oh, yeah, the spider's really good. Okay. okay, there was still two gold in the ground. They didn't steal all of it. Oh, that's good. And I forget, do gastropods drop anything? I don't think so. Nothing interesting, just gel. At least they didn't used to. All right. I will head back down to the spider cave. So, in terms of new enemies, we saw the... Well, I saw the Crimson Mimic. What other new enemies have we seen so far in hard mode? All the desert stuff. The ghouls and right. the scorpions and things. I can't think of any others yet. Okay. Uh, how many... Let's see. You used like 40 spider fangs on all that stuff. Correct. One was like 16 and one was 24, I think. So yeah, it is 40. Yeah. But yeah, I've got a big spider cave over here, and I managed to spawn a bunch last time, so hopefully I'll be able to do that again. And yeah, it's the usual kind of thing, like, actually right outside the spider area is where I'm getting a lot of spiders to spawn. <laughs> right. Just because the way the crazy spawning rules work. I am getting souls of night here while I do this. Very nice. Oops, there's Medusa. All right, let's stay away from her. All right, Spider, can you fit oh. through that gap? Da, 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 da. Another that? very nice thing with those little spiders is as they're munching on bad guys' faces, they're kind of like doing continual knockback hits, and so it makes oh, yeah. it more difficult for enemies to approach you. Yeah, Imp is a very low rate of fire, right. so if the spiders are faster, that's an improvement. indeed. And, interesting, the spiders do summon damage, but it causes my Orichalcum suit to fire petals at the thing. <laughs> and so I can just like stand out of line of sight and do a lot of continual damage uh, to things around the corner. Neat. The only thing is my spiders have to like find the enemy in the first place first. And why are they not going after that bat? That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe the spiders need some kind of line of sight? I'm not sure exactly what happened there. That was weird. 
Do they not fly on their own? They definitely, the they have like piranha gun style targeting where they, once they finish off one enemy, they hop to a nearby enemy. I see. I guess I haven't used them all that much before. I do remember I'd gotten this thing once before, but I'm mm. failing to remember the details. Piranha gun is a thing that I could use. Also, I just got a poison staff, which you might like. I see. Oh, right. That's awesome. Penetrating magic damage. Yeah. That'll, I forget how much it penetrates. That might work well in the destroyer as well. 60 magic damage. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is. I remember using that against Skeletron the first time I yeah. played through. Well, that's a lot of spiders. It's like six down this water here. Unfortunately, they're not very good at getting out of the water. Hmm. Ooh, I got a black recluse banner. <laughs> that's oh, going to help. I could use that here. Uh, yeah. Um, sadly, I kind of kill steel because you probably killed more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I have 41 spider fangs. I guess I should stop. Oh. But there's so many on screen. That's right. Who can ever stop playing Terraria? I make your Stikor. Yeah, the combination of this summoner and this armor set means all I have to do is aim once around the corner into a room to get both of my spiders on. Oh, oh that's I guess bad. I was poisoned. Okay, well, I need to leave anyway. To get both of my spiders on somebody, and then, um, yeah, then my summoning damage does all the work. Which means I could use it at the ocean farm. I get my spiders to right. go underwater. Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually, I kind of really want to try that right now. Uh, I have 15 more fangs. Um, I guess you don't need any to craft those things right now. Uh, I have that. Oh, thank you. Superior. Very nice. Okay, so that is a shooty weapon for people who may not have seen it before. It still works the same way. It's HDA, hold to attack. And so I guess maybe I'll use... I kind of want Flame Lash still in the bar, too. I don't need the bug map right now. All right, I'm going to quickly check for life fruit in our jungle. Because I enjoy doing that. <laughs> oh, I never made oh. the platform, so the truffle keeps I, falling down. The... I put one platform oh. there. Is he, is he still falling? I thought I saw him. No, I think I just saw a movement on the left side of the screen. That's the witch doctor who lives down here, so it's fine. Okay, I see. As long as I'm digging up all these grubbies, I might as well pick them up. Alright, it's a spider staff. My spiders were just attacking some tiny enemy in the jungle, I think. But I didn't see what it was. Might be a new jungle enemy. Hmm. Uh, what was it? It looked like there was like a little fly or something. I didn't get a good look. Or maybe it was a hornet and I just didn't get a good look at him. Still no life fruit. Right. Those are pretty slow to grow. Let's see. Spider queen staff is demonic. Spider staff can get better. All right. And the extra fangs, once you're done, I guess, can go in the hard mode chest for lack of a better They place. are in monster items right now. Oh, okay. That makes even more sense. I'm up to seven platinum. So yeah, once again, don't be Sheesh. Don't be <laughs> busy with anything. All right. I've renewed my buffs. I'm going to go quickly head to the ocean farm because I really want to see if the combination of summoning and suit does what I think it does in terms mm -hmm. of tearing through enemies at the farm. My two little spiders are different colors. One of them's kind of uh, gray and one of them's kind of purple. Huh. I know that the pirates used to be that there were like three different pirate models when you got the pirate staff. And so yeah, I guess I don't remember if there were previously multiple spider models. Mm -hmm. And I guess we didn't have the bewitching table whenever we were using the slime staff. I wonder if there's different slimes, like if you have multiple slimes summoned at once. I tried resummoning and he didn't change color, but maybe maybe I didn't try enough times. I see. I really like these spiders. <laughs> <laughs> New favorite summoning item. Oh man. All right, so I had planned to get Souls of Light. That didn't happen yet. I guess I still have a little bit of time to do it. I'm gonna check my surface hallow.
I need to plant some trees here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and you could always check on the qu fishing quest for the day. I forgot to do that. Yeah, it's mudfish. Oh, we don't have any. spiders I basically paralyze the angry trapper. They hit him so oh, cool. fast, and he's a slow-moving creature anyway. Yeah. That he basically got completely stuck. I don't think I would survive fishing in the jungle, and we don't have any mudfish, so I'm just going to skip that quest. Okay. Oh, go away, bad crimson things. All right, now would be a good time to buff. Yeah, two spiders. This was definitely the right thing to do. I feel How like are you this doing is these silver bullets. I yeah. could do better. You said something about spiders I didn't hear. I said something about bullets you probably didn't hear. Uh, I heard that you still had silver bullets and you were wondering why. And uh, yes. I gave them all to you, I guess, before hard mode or... Yeah. yeah, I used all of those, but I, I just bought more and realized I could do better. I see. Got it. Um, explosive bullet? Like, what kind of bullets can you make now? Party! Oh, like. right. They're like the most damage, aren't they? They're not the most damage, but they're they're the best damage for money. I see. I like the fact that a medium world means you still have lots of non-corrupted areas. Mm hmm Because, yeah, small worlds would tend to get, like, all corrupted or crimsonified or hallowed or whatever. Okay, and so now the question is... Wow. Yep. <laughs> so, did, did you get that text? Uh, Brian defeated is... 100 thirds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I hadn't even aimed a weapon yet. Right, yeah, my see spiders... My spiders are just sitting around at the bottom of the ocean killing things off camera. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. And then will the spiders re-aim up here if I do this? I guess not. But yeah, I'm glad you're checking this out. There's a vile thorn um, in somewhere. Oh, and then I've got the uh, queen spider turret thing, right. Yeah, I just summoned one at the bottom there. Okay, great. There's probably a lot of loot down there. Uh, yeah. All right. I've got a, a demon side which kills things and lights things up and makes it easier to see what's happening down here. Oh, I see something. Oh, it's the queen spider. That's, ah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, what's all? Th oh, There's oh, queen, queen spider. spider staff summons little spiders. I see. Ha. And let's chilled, see. so I can't think of water. water. Okay. Right. Okay, so this is corruption at the moment. Correct. And so if I break this one brick, um, let's see, is there anything else that we might want it to be? I guess crimson is the other one. And so I could go do that really quick. Let's see, which chest would we want the most right now? Crimson would mean vampire knives. Uh, oh, jungle right. would mean piranagon. That's the one I would want most. Right. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Alright, I'm All right. gonna go hallowing. Okay, yeah, I should probably do that too. But yes, it definitely Can't seems like... Can't do it for like very the... long. We're at 38 minutes right now. Alright, good to know. So much And gold. I guess, yeah, at that at that time I shouldn't start something new, so I'll, I'll refrain. And so, can I... <laughs> I guess that gets some into the bottom of the ocean. I see. And so I get blood jellies, I see, in the crimson. So it changes the mm -hmm. kind of sets of enemies that I'm dealing with here. Right. Uh, they don't drop anything that's, like, too useful, though. As I far as think I know. they do. They drop a um, an Ankh shield item. I forget which one. Oh, all right. Yeah, I forgot to mention, off camera, I got, is it the Nazar that's immunity to curse from the dungeon yeah. when I was doing yep. dungeon fishing? I don't remember if I had mentioned that. Uh, on camera. I got that a few episodes ago. That's the one that goes together with armor bracing, right? And we have the Bezor. Yeah, I, I can't remember for sure. Ah, uh, Bezor. I'll see what that combines with. 
All right, the good news is the blood jellies are actually slower, so it makes it a little bit safer for me to run down here and pick up all the loots. Oh, yeah, I see all the little spiders that the queen summoned. Okay, so that's different. She used to shoot spider eggs, so she used to be like a turret, but I guess now she summons those little spiders instead. Okay. Hmm. These are goes with adhesive bandage. I see. All right, I'm gonna teleport back home. I guess and... I might as well, <laughs> while we're wrapping up, I might as well make a run at my money in the spider caves, just because. I see. Yeah, I just picked up another 11 gold right there. Quick stack into my piggy bank. Uh, our Pima banners can get added to the banner chest, which I guess eventually is gonna get full. It hasn't filled up yet. And I want to set up like a clothesline or something like that for all our banners to hang on. Yeah, that would look nice, actually. So yeah, trophy room. Hmm. And I guess we have spent a bit of time in the underworld after hard mode because we fought the wall of flesh a few times, but most of the time there wasn't a whole lot of other enemies. I'm just trying to. I want to go down to the underworld really quick and see. Is there anybody else interesting there? Red Devils could give you Unholy Trident or whatever. I think they don't appear until you've defeated a hard mode boss. That sounds right. Right, and I don't have the Lava Charm on right now, so why don't I put that on so that I don't die in a fire. Okay. I see Crim Slime because it's Crimson down here, right? Um, I just kill? How far do I have to go to the left before that changes? Oops. Okay, so now we're out of the crimson. So there's space in between. It should be turning hollow right over here pretty soon, though. Okay, usual enemies. There's another demon. Oh, there's a. Oh! Ah! Uh, it was my inventory full? No. Oh, it's here. It's just my client glitching. <laughs> um. Hurtful Hellfire is a yo-yo that does 47 melee damage. Oh, cool. That uh, sounds which is better than... The whatever. Aramok, I have one that's reforged, and so it's better melee damage, but let me see if the this yo-yo like does fire damage or something crazy. Or 10% damage, 17% damage. No, it's 14% damage. It looks very similar in terms of damage numbers to the other yo-yo. But let me see... Oh, man. Yo-yos are good for hitting around corners. I guess I should bring it upstairs, because I'm not sure if the uh, fire enemies down here are probably immune to fire, and so I wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to tell if they're getting caught on fire, and so let me bring this back upstairs. Where does the crimson start over here? I've already passed it. Or, not the crimson, the hollow. Maybe I already passed it. Yeah, it feels like... Maybe that patch of hollow isn't the diagonal slash of the hollow? I'm not sure where the diagonal slash of the hollow is in this map. I thought I knew, but now I'm not so sure. Let's see. Do any of our... Ah, uh, he has one. Oh, did either of us ever check on the fishing quest today? Uh, I don't know. The yo-yo does set enemies on fire. I just killed a zombie with it. It is pretty cool. Cool. Oh. I was like, how is the yo-yo continuously hitting him when it's just there was an enemy standing in the middle of the string and I realized the yo-yo <laughs> wasn't hitting him, my spiders were. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, doing one last thing here, which you might enjoy. Does it involve fishing? Nope. Does it... It's a thing I'm going to hand to you. Let's see. Ah, right, it's still the mudfish jungle kind of thing. Did you hand it to me already? Yes, I did. Oh! Golden shower! Yep. All right, which is 26 magic damage, but gives most enemies a debuff uh, of negative defense and penetrates. Does it penetrate any number, or is it just like four or something? Either way, it's a good penetrative weapon. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. And so I will trade out the demon scythe. 
for that, and four slots. Neat. All right, I've got all kinds of crazy weapons. Cool. I look forward to you having just as many. Yeah. All right, but I guess, yeah, I don't know that we've accomplished, well, I guess we accomplished a bit actually with the spider stabs. Yeah, we got those things. This is, this is a spidery episode. Indeed. All right, and so next time, uh, what else do we need before the destroyer? The Nimbus Rod, I guess, is the main thing that we'd really like to get. Is there anything else? I guess that's about it. All right, so... I can't think of anything else. Yeah, maybe next time we'll see if we can get the Nimbus Rod, and we'll set up a destroyer arena, and if we get really lucky, maybe we'll be ready to fight him for the first time. Mm-hmm. All right, see you guys soon.